Hey, what's up? Welcome to thepixellab.net. Today I'm going to start a series on beginner tips, uh, just kind of quick tips for people who are just starting with cinema. So today I'm going to go over video textures and how you can put video into your scene really easily. So I mocked up this video board really quickly with my industrial pack, just a couple of trusses and the chains kind of makes a really nice place to, to put some video in, right? So let's talk about how to do that. So technically you can bring in QuickTime videos and AVIs, um, but I've found that actually bringing in image sequences is a better way to go. So to do that, um, you gotta jump over into After Effects. Okay, so I have this video clip set up, uh, this dude riding a bike, and I got a little chunk of it cordoned off. So I'm gonna do an in and out point a little bit farther down the footage just to kind of reveal an, a situation that might come up and how to kind of work around it. Uh, so yeah, here's the little video clip. We'll just go to Composition, Add to Render Queue and go ahead and click on the lossless and we're going to change the format from QuickTime Movie to a JPEG sequence and this is one that I've found works best. So go ahead and make a JPEG sequence, hit OK, we'll go ahead and render it to the JPEG sequence folder and basically it's going to make a single still image for every frame and Cinema really likes this a lot better than uh, QuickTimes at least in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and make a new texture and in the color channel we're going to go ahead and load image and we'll go to our JPEG sequence, and you can see that in this folder we have a whole bunch of uh, stills. Go ahead and click on the first one. That's all you have to do is click on the first one and hit open. Go ahead and hit no. All right, so we have our texture, but right now it's just a still image. Let's go ahead and talk about how we're gonna get it on the plane first. Go ahead and drag it onto there, and you're gonna notice uh, most of the time you're gonna have to do a little bit of tweaking with the texture. So let's go ahead and click on our texture, and let's change that to cubic for now. And it's tiling, as you can see, and we do not want it to tile. So let's go ahead and uncheck that. And uh, it needs to rotate, right? So we're going to go to the coordinates of the texture tab, and we'll go ahead and figure out which rotation it needs to go on. So it's the heading, and obviously that'll be 90 degrees. All right, so let's go ahead and click on this texture. And a shortcut to uh, getting this guy perfectly matched up on this plane is to go to Tags, Fit to Object. And then it's going to perfectly scale it uh, to match this plane. Let's go ahead and undo that and I'll show you another way to do it. If you click on your texture tag, you can change the offset of where it's at and uh, you can change the length. So you could actually go in here and change the offset and change kind of where it is if you want a little bit more manual control of where uh, this image is going to be. And that's really handy if you're placing stickers on an object, something like that. Okay, but let's go ahead and go back to our fit to object for now. And you'll notice that he's uh, riding from right to left instead of left to right. So we'll go to our tag and that would be a scale problem. So on X, let's go ahead and put minus on the front, hit enter. And now we can see that he's going the right direction. Okay, so we got the texture all set up, but it's not moving. So let's go ahead and open our texture and click on the texture. Now we have an animation tab. And if we go in here, the main button that you need to look at is calculate. So right now it's zero to zero frames. If we hit calculate, you're gonna see that it changes from 638 to 670, which corresponds to uh, kind of the seconds or the frames that we have set up in After Effects. So we don't want it to be starting at frame 638. We want it to start at frame zero and then go however many frames this is. This is 32 frames. The way we're gonna do that is go from mode and we're gonna change it from exact second to range. And then we can kind of specify where it needs to be. So we want it to start at zero and we want it to end at 32 frames, which is how many frames there are in this guy. So let's go ahead and hit X and you'll notice that nothing happens again. And this is gonna be kind of frustrating unless you know exactly where to go for this guy. So open up your texture again and go down to editor. And there's a little checkbox called animate preview. Make sure that guy's on. Now let's go back and check it out. Now you can see we are cooking. So we got our animated preview. One quick other thing, if we go to our texture and we go to our animation tab, uh, there are a couple different things that you can do. There's simple mode, which is basically just specifying uh, kind of the range, and it'll play once all the way through. Then there's loop, and you can loop it um, you know, X amount of times, and then there's ping pong, so it'll go back and forth and back and forth, just in case you want to use those features. So that is video texturing in Cinema 4D. Hope you learned something, and we'll talk again soon. Bye, everybody.